<sighs> ah, okay. All right, here we go. I think I think I got the EBGBs out. Let's see if I got the EBGBs out. Okay, what's up, guys? KG Rough to Be Buff TV. We are back with another buff vlog. Uh, this past Super Bowl Sunday, uh, before Super Bowl, over at my gym at Next Level Sport and Fitness, we had a weightlifting coach come in. His name is Scott Hisaka. He is a buddy of Wes Fainer, who is the Brea Barbell Club, one of, his, one of their head coaches. Um, both of these guys, really phenomenal um, Olympic weightlifters, came in and held a snatch-specific seminar. So for some of you guys uh, that don't know, the snatch is, a, is one of the most complex lifts to do um, in Olympic weightlifting. Um, I am a USA weightlifting certified coach, but the only thing is, is that I don't practice all that often to be completely honest. So I, I think for myself, I was looking for some really good coaches and I got really, really lucky that we had Scott come in and uh, Wes has been coaching the class uh, every Sunday morning that I've been going to at 7 a.m. So without further ado, this is the snatch seminar that we went over at Next Level Sport and Fitness. Group one, we're going to do two again, except for no pause on either of them. Cool? We're still going to go nice and slow. So position one, down to two, over the bar, up to one and go. Sand, good. Back down to one. If you feel yourself catching, and you're slightly back or slightly forward, that means that as we're getting position one, you're either extending a little bit too far back or not extending all the way up. So make sure it's a very vertical finish and the bar will travel with you. Position one, down to two, and open the bar. There you go, good job. Up to one and go. Vertical finish, catch, stay tight, stand. Very good, fuck yeah, look way better. Group two. The, t the point of me having you guys move your feet, even if you don't necessarily move your feet out, or they like barely leave the ground and come back in the same spot, the point of me wanting to be able to hear your feet is to teach you timing. And so the timing of the snatch, you should literally hear pop, pop. You should hear the bar hit the hips, and the feet hit the ground. And the reason we want to be aggressive with your feet is because it's teaching us to, as we meet the bar with our hands, we're driving into the ground and pushing into the bar. What you'll start to see if you just kind of float under here is as the bar gets heavy and you go to pull under, that bar is going to crush your ass into the hole and then you have to try to save it. Feels like it's pushing against you. So we always want to be, we finish, and you're not just meeting the bar with your upper body, you're meeting the bar with your legs, with your hips, everything stays tight, and we're prepared to meet the bar. All right, so position one, come down to the knee, position two. So now, when we came down to position two, we hinged over at the waist, our knee angle stayed the same, our weight shifted over the bar. From here, what we're gonna do is we come to position three, position three is the floor. His hip angle is gonna stay the same, and what's gonna change is his knee angle. His knees are gonna come down, they're gonna come slightly forward, and here from the floor, your position, the weight on your feet, should be on the balls of your feet. You still have a full foot on the floor, but your weight is shifted to the balls of your feet. Now your shoulders aren't so far over the bar, they're either on top of the bar or slightly in advance, depending on your limb length, your body type. But, so I'm gonna have Wes turn to the side, so you can see it a little bit better, same all the way up. So position one, down to the knee, Notice hip angle changes, down to the floor. Knees come forward, weight shifts to balls of the feet, and we're going to go over the bar right here. So low back is engaged, his lats are engaged here. All he's going to do from here to position three as he comes up to position two is, so he's on the balls of his feet right now, all he's going to do, hips are going to stay tight, back is going to stay engaged, his hips and chest are going to rise at the same time, but He's shifting his weight forward because his knees are pushing back. So he's gonna come from the floor here, up to position two. Go a little slower, back up. So up to two, so he's gonna watch. So the knees come back. We come back to a vertical shin here. He's still on a full foot, 
but now the weight is a little bit more evenly distributed. His shoulders are over the bar. This is the same position we were just in, right? Back to four, up to two, one and go. Good, stand, back down to position one. So there's gonna be a lot of holding of positions. Come down to two. Come down to the floor. Weight shifts forward, good. Up to the knee, up to two, over the hold. One and go. Good, same. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> So I'm gonna have, which means that you guys will be fucking holding the bar at position two for a really long time, and it's gonna suck. So I got but, tired. So it's normal. It's normal. I got tired too. No, if it's I, obviously I if it's excessive, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys to put the bar down. But literally, the point of this is we really do want to ingrain this position, and we want to strengthen these. Like obviously in, well, I don't really know how you guys programming is. But there should be a lot of position work within the full lifts, whether it's pause stuff, hang stuff, pulse stuff. But we are always working on ingraining these positions. So everyone, group one, stand up. Position one. We should be on full foot. Come down to two. Still on a full foot over the bar. Good. Come down to the floor. So hips should stay in. All you're doing is letting your knees come forward. Your whole weight is perfect. This is an easy position to hold, right? No. Okay. Yeah. Good. So from here, before we do anything, I want everybody to make sure low back is tight, lats are engaged, chest is up, eyes are forward, and you're focused on something ahead of you. Eyes should always be forward. This is how you get, this is pretty much how you know when you are in space. If, we, if you are one of those people who like your fucking head is going all over the place in your pool, it's going to be really hard to know where you are and assess how to move around the ball. So I should always be forward, focus on something. From here, up to position two. So shift over the bar. What the hell, why can't you guys all do it right? Yeah. I'm hoping you guys are fucking because it's Ah. Come on, you shift over the bar. You can thank me later. Right there, perfect. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, so cool, cool, so we are dying. Ah. Yes. Yeah. You guys laughed at me. Ah. One and go. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Up, bar down, group two, that shit's a tiring run, all of these tens feel like they're like hundreds. So group two, stand all the way up to the bar, trust me, you guys are going to get a lot of practice with these positions. Position one, good, that's engaged, arms stay long. Down to two, get over the bar, over, over, good. Down to three, let your weight shift forward, good. Right here, just a little bit, lats engaged, very good, right there. Just a little bit, right there, perfect. Up to two, push the knees back, a little higher, right there, good, drop, fuck yeah. Just up a little bit. One and go. Hold, hold, sit, get comfortable. Stand. Bar down. <laughs> group two is smart. See, they had less people in their group, so then they knew that it wouldn't take so long. What? Yeah, it's all kind of did a pretty fucking good job. So back to group one. All the way up. Position one. Down to two. Get over the bar. Down to three. Good. 
Where's the weight on your feet? <laughs> Up to two. Push your knees back a little bit more. Right there. Good. One to go. Fuck yes. Good job. Stand. Bar down. Down to two. Get over the bar. Arms stay long. Lats engage. Down to three. Let your weight shift forward. Weight should be on the balls of the feet. I want your lats engaged. Low back tight. Bring your knees forward more. Forward, forward. Right there. Good. Here. Chest up a little bit. Squeeze your lats. Up to two. Get over the bar. That's actually good. One and go. Reach. Oh, reach through your upper back. Stand. Good job. A little bit more. Just up. Good. Correct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Up to two. Get over the bar. Change back a little more. One and go. Reach, reach, reach. Stay tight. Stand. Good job. Bar down, all the way down. All of this leverage, all this tricky here is stopping the start. So what you should think of right now is that when you're caught here, when you're literally just coming straight up and going all one movement, all smooth, over here, the nose comes up as you squeeze back, stand, and go. Good job, Joe. A few things that I really enjoyed about the seminar was that it was very specific. It was very easy to follow. I felt like I walked away from that two hour seminar uh, a better lifter. And I think that's extremely important anytime that you guys are hiring a coach, a personal trainer, a movement specialist, a wellness coach, whatever it may be, um, is, is this person, um, that's my, that's my dog and his play toy. Is this person um, an expert in what they're doing? Um, is this someone who is practicing? Is this someone who has a lot of reps coaching this? Um, and I think that's what's really important anytime you're looking for a coach is does this person's vision or does that style align with the way that I like to be coached? Um, and that's something I really liked about Wes and both Scott is both that they're very specific. The class is fun and um, it's also challenging too. So if something's fun and something's something's challenging and you're enjoying your environment, you're more likely to continue doing it. So that's why I really liked taking this weightlifting class on Sunday mornings or also doing this, this seminar, snatch seminar. So overall, it was a really, really fantastic experience. Um, and I'm gonna continue to work with Wes on Sunday mornings just because I gotta get into the habit of practicing um, my ollie lifts, my Olympic lifting. So um, that's it for today, guys. Rough to be off TV, I'm KG. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.